Character is what a person is on the inside, reputation is what a person looks like, but this is limited to humans. Would lions want to emulate humans? The lions lay quietly on the spot and ran for several meters in an instant. What happened? Why did the lions change so quickly? The power of the collective is immense. Old people used to say this kind of summation a long time ago. The main reason is that individual strength is very thin, if we want to achieve something, it needs the joint efforts of all. The man was handsome and rich. But he did not feel proud, but would do his best in everything. It is because of the continuous emergence of powerful people like this, so the world will become more pure. The man did not like trickery and felt that success based on strength was the proudest thing. But occasionally someone very special would appear around him, and the man was very upset. To get rid of that bad mood, the man packed his bags for another outing. It had long been his favorite way to get rid of boredom. On an ordinary day, the man came into a dense jungle. Looking at the big trees, he felt his insignificance for a moment. The man was absorbed in the beauty when he heard the lions cry. Walking in the direction of the sound, he saw two very small lions whose teeth were not yet fully grown. He speculated that their mother may have fought with other animals and left them there. The two lions had many wounds and the wounds were not the same depth. Looking at the two lions, the man was sure that they had not eaten for many days. Not only did they not have any food, they could not even find water. He thought that if they continued like this, they would surely die. When the man heard the cries of the two lions, he exclaimed that they were poor and needed help. After thinking this over, the man decided to take the two lions home. When the two lions came to the man's house, they were very obedient and cooperative. After spending some time together, the two lions' wounds have largely healed and they have formed a strong bond. Considering the later life of the lions, the man decided to send them to an animal sanctuary. On the day he left the lions, the man had prepared a rich meal for them, hoping that their parting would be pleasant. Many years later, the man returned to the animal reserve and was impressed. At that time, the man often went there in order to choose a better place for the two lions. He didn't trust the lions to the staff until he was sure of the overall environment and atmosphere. And back there, the man felt nothing strange. He followed the direction of the lions to their enclosure. When the man walked in, he saw two lions who had been lying leisurely on the ground suddenly saw him and ran wildly forward. One of the lions actually knocked the man to the ground. While the other lion came up to the man and rubbed against him intimately, as if trying to get his attention. The man sat down slowly on the ground and looked happily at the two lions. The two lions were much taller than before and their hair was darker than before. But their tempers were about the same. They liked to hug the man, so they held the man tightly in their arms. From a distance, people could not see the man because his body was completely covered by the lions. The two lions had not forgotten the man, and were very excited when they saw him again. The man was very happy at that time, and he was very excited to see the two lions again. The man had known the lions for many years, and the lions always remembered the man's kindness. It wasn't just lions but even other animals, who paid extra attention to the people they liked. A similar thing happened at another zoo. The keeper loved every animal and went to work on time every day. At that time, if the animals were abnormal, the keeper would take them to the doctor. Although everyday life was simple and boring, the keeper really, really enjoyed the pace of work. As long as he could see the animals every day and they were doing well, he felt it was worth his while. The zoo was not so big, and to save space. The staff kept the tigers and leopards together. The tiger stayed there for a long time and it was taken care of by the keeper. The tiger was very dependent on the keeper. Whenever the keeper appeared, the tiger would approach him. As soon as the keeper waved, the tiger left in silence. It was because of the long time together that they could have such a tacit understanding. The new leopard was not familiar with its surroundings, including the keeper and the tiger, so it was always on the alert. It was early one morning, misty, before the sun had risen. 
the keeper came to the zoo a long time ago because he was worried about the sick tiger. In order to understand its condition, the keeper specially came to the zoo area. In addition to some food, he also brought some healing medicine to put in the food for the tiger to eat. When the keeper first came into the zoo area, everything was quiet. So he walked on, and suddenly he saw the leopard running towards him for no reason. As soon as the leopard jumped on top of the keeper, the tiger was woken up and quickly ran over and tackled the animal to the ground. Luckily the tiger turned up when it did, otherwise the keeper might have been injured. The keeper felt his neck and noticed a slight scratch. Before the leopard could hurt the man, it was intercepted by the tiger. The leopard tried to make a second attack, but the tiger didn't give it a chance and put up all the stops. Whatever this leopard wanted to do, it didn't have a chance. The tiger was afraid that the leopard might attack, so it stepped back a few steps so that it could get closer to the keeper. After a while, the leopard finally gave up, and the tiger, knowing that the keeper was safe, slowly stepped aside and went back to sleep. The keeper watched the sleeping tiger, hurriedly placing food beside it and not daring to disturb it. The keeper slowly walked away from the animal park and took a look at the tiger before closing the door. He knew the tiger was sleeping, but if he was in danger again, the tiger would help him. Many people would like this kind and righteous tiger. By doing that, the tiger was paying the keeper back. If the keeper hadn't helped the tiger, the tiger probably wouldn't have saved him. Okay, that's the story for today, please subscribe, like and comment if you like. We'll continue to tell you more touching stories about animals, so see you next time.